Hi everyone. Today we will discuss the programmable interval timer that is 8253-8254. It is dedicated to generate the accurate time delays. In 8085 and 8086, time delays are generated with the help of counter. Counter is designed by loading an appropriate number into one of the register and using increment and decrement instructions. Secondly, loop is established to update the count and each count is checked to determine whether it has reached the final number or not. If not, then the loop is again repeated. So it's not possible to generate the accurate time delays using delay, delay routine in 8086. After that, Intel proposed a dedicated programmable counter that is 8253 and 54 which facilitate the following properties the first one is it is used to produce the accurate time delays it minimize the load on the microprocessor so that microprocessor can engage into some other activities third is it is having a real time clock processing capability it has its own event counter it can operate in six modes of operation such as interrupt on terminal count, programmable monoshot, rate generator, scare wave generator, software trigger strobe and hardware trigger strobe. Before proceeding further, let's discuss the difference between 8253 and 8254. 8254 is a superset of 8253 and 8253 can operate at frequency up to 2 megahertz. Whereas 8254 can operate with the higher clock frequency range that is up to 8 megahertz and 10 megahertz. It has one outstanding feature that is it includes status readback command that latches the count and status of counters. Now let's discuss the various features of 8253 and 54 microprocessor. First one is compatibility. It is compatible with all Intel and most other microprocessors and handle input up to 10 MHz. The Intel 8254 is a counter timer device designed to solve the common timing control problems in the microprocessor system design. And it provides three independent 16-bit counters each capable of handling clock inputs up to 10 MHz. It supports the counting in binary as well as in BCD format. It is having a single 5 volt supply and standard temperature range. It can be operated in 6 programmable counter modes that is 6 modes of operation. It is built using HMOS technology and various applications are that it is used for controlling real time events such as real time clock, event counter and motor speed and direction control. Now let's discuss the pin diagram of 8253-54 timer. Now as we have discussed that it uses 316 bit down counter. Now first of all we should know what does down counter means. Like if we are having counter uh, value is 5. So if it is a down counter it will start from 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. If it is having a up counter, then it will start from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this is the difference between up and down counter. So 8253 is using a 3 16 bit down counter. Now why there are 3 16 bit counters? What is the advantage of using 3 16 bit counter? The advantage is that it can produce three different delay simultaneously. That is, it can use three different delays at the same time. So, it is having a 16 bit counter. Now, what does it infer? It infer that it can count up to F, 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 H, which is equivalent to approx 65,000. approx which is a huge value 
the actual value of 65k is Six five five three five. Now eight two five three five four supports two type of counters. That is, first one is binary with sixteen bit counter. Second one is BCD. When counter is operated as a binary, the maximum range counter can give as f f f f h but in case of bcd it can give the maximum value of 9999h now 8253 and 54 always have a 8 bit data bus the 8 bit data bus is having dedicated d node to d7 now in case of 8086 it is having 16 bit address value so it needs two cycle to send 16 bit in 8086 that is for example we are having address of 2345h so first of all it will send the lower byte in first cycle that is 4 5 after that it will send the higher byte that is 2 3 so it will take two cycles due to the presence of 8 bit data bus 12th pin is ground pin 24th pin is voltage to operate 825354 timer 23rd pin is right then read which we have already discussed in 885 as well as 8086 processor next one is chip select chip select is used to activate the 8253 chip next one is a1 and a node these are the address lines so here we are having a two address line so it can address up to 2 rest part 2 is equal to 4 address spaces like 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 as we have seen that in 80 in 8253 we are using 3 16 bit counter when address lines give the value 0 0 it will activate the counter 0 when 0 1 then counter 1 when it is 1 0 then counter 2 in case of 1 1 that is command word register which tells how to operate the three counters now these three counters having three different pins that is clock gate and out now let's discuss the meaning of clock gate and out pin clock is in the form of pulses like this clock is used to trigger the count in every clock pulse for example the value of counter is 3 when it starts counting its value will be 2 here then in next clock cycle the value will decrement to 1 in next clock cycle it will decrement to 0 2 1 0 so in every clock pulse the value is decrementing so this is the significance of clock next one is gate gate is used to enable the counting when gate is equal to 1 then it enables the counting when gate is equal to 0 it disable the counting in case of 1 it is enable in case of 0 it disable the counting
now when the counting is over like the it reaches the terminal count that is zero so timer will tell the microprocessor with the help of out instruction that the counter value reaches to the terminal count this is how clock gate and out pin behaves and each counter is having its own clock gate and out pins which helps to work each counter in independent mode now let's discuss the architecture of 825354 processor first one is it is having 8 bit data bus that is d0 to d7 in case of 8085 processor it will operate in one cycle because 8085 is having 8 bit data bus but in case of 8086 it is having 16 bit data bus so it will take two cycles in case of 8086 microprocessor it operates with the help of three independent counters that is counter 0 counter 1 and counter 2 it is having one control word register control word register basically accepts the commands to operate the different three counters that is how it behaves which mode of operation will operate and which counter will be operate in decimal or in hex mode so all decision will be taken in cwr register next is it is having a two address lines that is a node and a1 in previous slide we have discussed that it is having a two address line so it can address up to four address space that is 2 raised to power 2 is equal to 4 0 0 0 1 when it is a 0 0 it will activate the counter 0 when it is 0 1 it will activate counter 1 in case of 1 0 it will activate counter 2 in case of 1 1 it will activate the control word register next is read and write command read operates in logic 0 it tells microprocessor to read count from a to 5 4 write also operates in logic 0 because it is a low active signal it also tells microprocessor to write count or command into a254 this control word register accepts 8 bit control word written by the microprocessor and it can only be written it cannot be read it control words chooses one of the six mode of operation the various six modes of operation are mode 0 mode 1 mode 2 mode 3 mode 4 and mode 5 which can be operated with the help of control word register so that that's all for the pin diagram and architecture of 8253 8254 programmable interval timer thanks for watching